with identical twins Michelle and Katherine Anderson who are opening up in People Magazine about how their sisterly bond was challenged but unbroken by a fire that left Michelle with burns over 90% of her body. And you, you always hear about these tw twins who can feel each other and read each other. During Katherine and Michelle's surgeries, and, and 80 of them, again, you said you felt some of her pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I. Um, there's some specific examples my um, my mom and my grandma had told me about when Michelle was in the hospital and um, she had had an external fixation device on her hand to help regain her mobility and when they were inserting it I was screaming in my um, grandma's bathroom hammer hammer make it stop and um, there's another example when Michelle was on the verge of losing her feet in the hospital and I was tripping and falling in the hallway in excruciating pain. Oh my gosh. Um, and, and this was all tied to that twin connection. Your mother, Linda, is here. Linda, oh my goodness, I saw you almost <laughs> crying or cheering up here. When you look at your daughters, your girls, and what they've gone through. I'm just so proud of feel? them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just... Just very proud of them. And having such a strong mother. <laughs> Catherine, I know you wanted to tell your mother something. Yeah. Um, Michelle and I just wanted to ex um, express our gratitude and just give thanks for the everything that you've sacrificed to give us the best life that we've we have and um, to encourage us to pursue our passions and not let, um, you know, these set um, any setback or anything really truly um, be a barrier to our success. Oh. I feel like it's Mother's Day. <laughs> it's your early Mother's Day present. Uh, Michelle, you said you don't know how strong you are until you don't have a choice. Yes. Yeah. You did not have a choice. Yeah. You were a baby. But now, as grown women, you have a choice in how you pay it mm -hmm. forward. And you've been very vocal and active in giving back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, um, you know, I, looking back, like, we do have a choice, right? But to me, like, it was always a part of my life, and mm -hmm. I became strong because I had a strong family. And so to me, it just, I didn't, I didn't feel like I had a choice, right? And so it's really my support system and the people around me that made me who I am and made me strong. Right? And in what way have you decided to give back and, and yeah. take this experience to to a level of education and an inspiration. Yeah, so I've given back um, through volunteering as a burn camp counselor, and I've been really involved with the Phoenix Society for Burn Survivors in several different roles. And then now I'm actually writing a self-help book about my story and the survival lessons I've learned through um, my journey as a burn survivor. So I'm excited to be here. Well, I said, are you inseparable? You live about two hours apart, but you talk all day. As Text all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as much as we can with our work schedules and life schedules, right? I joke to my husband that he um, didn't just marry me, he also <laughs> 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 Well, I love it.